Hello there and welcome to the Northwest Showcase on 93.9 KPDQ, sponsored today by Day Chiropractic. I'm Mary Shepard. Our guest today is Dr. David Day. His practice, Day Chiropractic, is at 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue, just south of Powell. That's 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue. His phone number, if you'd like to call and make an appointment, let me get that to you. It's 503 760 7572. Of course, you can check his website out at daychiropractic.com. That's daychiropractic, all one word, dot com. And it's always a pleasure to have you here with us, Dr. Day. I never know what's going to come in the studio you know, with you. I, this time, the guitar. I know, we have a guitar with us. And for those of you, actually, I'm videotaping this program, so I'll hopefully post it up to my web, which will be great. So if after you hear what we talk about, you go, oh, I wish uh, Aunt Mary would have heard that. Uh, you'll be able to go to my website and watch it and see. And Mary says she's daychiropractic.com. Day chiropractic okay. Yes. So anyhow, so but yes, I brought a guitar with me, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a couple of minutes. But I do want to talk about some of the things that are happening because February for Day Chiropractic is an incredible month. We are uh, launching, and, and if you actually heard my new commercial, you're you're understanding that we have a special focus for Valentine's Day. We have created a Valentine's Day special, and we're trying to encourage people to take advantage of this because there's several ways that it's like a win-win-win scenario. We have found a organization in Oklahoma City. It's a, it's a clinic called Oklahoma Haven, and we've supported them now for, for many years and have helped uh, provide thousands of dollars for their scholarship fund over the years, and thank you to the listeners and people who helped make, helped make that possible. But what we do is we offer a special in our office for new clients. So for $25, we'll do our full workup. You write out the check or, or use your credit card or whatever, make a donation of at least $25 to Oklahoma Haven. So the money so goes to Oklahoma The money goes to Oklahoma Haven. Okay. We go ahead and make the donation to you. And what you get in return, not only have you been generous with a, a clinic that serves uh, children who have special needs with chiropractic care. So I tell people it's the closest thing we found to a Shriners Hospital. Yeah. Uh, they, the lady who's, uh, who's the head chiropractor there has been there for over 40 years loves these children and they're doing great work and so this allows the parents to let their children get the care even if they don't have the finances to, to pay for it that's so, wonderful you know so that's we, here we are in portland oregon and vancouver helping serve a clinic in oklahoma city and the families in that area so anyhow uh, and that is going to go till the 23rd of this month so okay, for the next so two weeks from now mm -hmm. until then until the 23rd okay so if you have someone that you love for instance let's say you're thinking about valentine's day what am i going to get my my wife or husband or a loved one maybe it's a sister or brother or someone that you know has been dealing with some health issues and maybe this is something that if you provide the gifts you know, write the check to Oklahoma Haven. We'll give you a gift certificate that you can give to your loved one. That's a wonderful gift. And wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Because the value is over two hundred dollars. Because what we're going to do is we're going to sit down with the person you love, and we're going to talk with, talk with them about what's happened to their health. And we most people don't like going to the doctors, but we understand that, and we will try to make it the best experience possible. I mean, what we have to do is we have to try to figure out what has your body and your nerve system been throughout your lifetime. How did you turn into what you've become, right? Mm -hmm. Because we've got to kind of peel back that onion and figure out, well, what needs to be done to make a change? How do we how do we recapture some of that youth and that vitality? What has happened? Where have the the and we call it chiropractors call it verbal sub, verbal subluxation or the interferences in your nerve system? Because if something is choking off that nerve communication from the organs up to the brain or from the brain back then you will not be as healthy as you could otherwise be. Well, those nerves control everything, everything. don't they? Absolutely wow. everything. So that's something that's, that's really exciting. So we're happy to offer that. Um, and so I hope that's something that a lot of you can go ahead and take care, uh, take advantage of that. Um, we're also then going to have a party for our patients. All right. So that's on the 12th. So if you start <laughs> yeah. before the 12th, then you'll be part of the party as well. We'll can, have some can food. Can prospective Anybody patients can come. come to the oh, party? Yes. Okay. That's um, on the 12th of this month, right? Okay. For instance, um, I am the president of the Midway Business Association. So we will invite the Midway Business Association members to come in as well. So there's going to be, it'll be a nice, it's like a, kind of like an open house sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just our way to give back to our patients and say thank you that you're part of our practice and and we love being part of the community in which we find ourselves, and so that's that's just. Well, it's, people can come by and see the atmosphere at your. At yeah, your in fact, can... somebody yesterday almost started crying. He loved how it felt because we basically have taken a house and converted it into an office, but we have cafe tables sitting. So our what what most people would view as the reception area or something like that. I almost have tried to create more of a cafe or a welcoming visitation 
community gathering type of an environment because we could all line up the chairs and everybody sit and read those outdated magazines and just <laughs> yeah. not talk to anybody. Yeah. Or we could actually have a more of an interaction together. And I try to be efficient, but you know, if, if there's a little bit of a wait, there's some marvelous and wonderfully interesting people who are part of our practice. Uh -huh. And it's really quite fun to interact and we've got we've got our you know, we've got web access so you can you know, whatever. You know, it's it's one of those things we try to think about if I were in a doctor's office what sort of environment would I resonate with? What would I like to have as opposed to what we usually experience? Right. Right? And so that's what we're trying to, we're trying to re-envision and we're trying to think about health and vitality and wellness. In fact, I just got a new, uh, a new, it's, it's, a, it's a box that has a picture of the nerve system, like a skeleton, one of them showing where all the nerves travel, like down the leg, so you can see like, you might've heard you have, I have sciatica or something, right, right. shooting pain down the leg. Well you can actually go on that picture and see that pathway of the sciatic nerve. But what's over on the right hand side are a row of buttons. Uh -huh. When you press the button, so you try to figure out where would the subluxation be that could that goes down to that nerve and you when you go, oh right there. And you realize L4 and L5. When you press those buttons, that's what lights up that nerve. Huh. And then you at simultaneously, when you're doing that, it also shows what organs are supplied by nerves that branch out in that area as well. Oh, that would be interesting. Is that a fun thing? Yeah. And so it's one of those things. They're sitting on the wall, and so periodically people are going to touch it. Now, a lot of times they're not telling me what they're looking at or mm -hmm. what they're looking mm -hmm. for. Yeah. And whether it's for them or for somebody they know, I don't care. It gives them a tangible something that you can actually touch and press and you can actually interact with that will give you information about how your body works. Well, and it can make it clearer in your mind. It's yes. more understanding about how your body works and what is going on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, let's say you're struggling to, you've, you've, you've put on a few pounds and your thyroid just is working kind of sluggish. And maybe, you know, you're taking some thyroid or something, but you're, you're in the back of your mind. You're wondering, you realize, wait a minute, when I press, hey, wait a minute, in that lower neck, when I press there, that thyroid lights up. And you start thinking, wait a minute, nobody ever checked to see if I have any degeneration or if I have a subluxation in my neck. And that could be part of why my thyroid is not working quite the way it should. It all links up. I see. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. And this is what's a really unique part about our yeah. office. So, any, so, so we've got that. The next thing that we've done is I have scheduled my next half hour to health class, which is going to be on arthritis. Okay. So that will be Tuesday the 17th at 6 o'clock in our clinic. So we're starting the sign-ups now. Uh, you're welcome to call, reserve a spot, and we'll probably go from 6. I say from 6 to 6.30. I call it my half hour to health. Okay. But if any of you have heard me and probably if if I get excited, do you go longer? It might go longer. <laughs> and well, the other thing is I'll be there to answer questions for anybody. If there's anybody who who has some questions, we won't leave till all the questions are answered. You know so, what I mean? Yeah, so arthritis in hands it's, it's and amazing. any joint then. Or yeah, you can... because what happens now? My focus is well, because our the major arthritis, the osteoarthritis or the degenerative arthritis, is by far the most prevalent. Over half of all arthritis is that type. So we're going to talk a lot. That's that would be probably the most common that I see. The beautiful thing is that's the kind that responds the best to chiropractic. Oh, well, that's great. The next category would be the rheumatoid arthritis, and that would comprise perhaps as much as thirty percent of the arthritis. Now, my experience though tells me if somebody has rheumatoid arthritis in the medical system, they are put in a different box. But my experience tells me the person with rheumatoid may also have degenerative arthritis superimposed or concomitant or oh, the both of in them conjunction in conjunction that. with it ah. and what happens then is the patient with the rheumatoid is that oh you have this terrible form and if you go on the internet and you look at the crippled people you're, you're it just gets so discouraging for patients mm -hmm. with rheumatoid arthritis and I say wait a minute maybe some of what you're experiencing is not necessarily from the inflammation of the autoimmune component of that but maybe it's from the degenerative things so why don't we try to interact with your body and see how much improvement we can derive and achieve? Mm -hmm. and what a lot of times these patients realize, wait a minute, I used to be healthy. I can get that way too. You know what I mean? It's really kind of an interesting exploration, but it's really a, a fun thing for, for people. But we'll, well that's, uh, suddenly they, they have a little more hope. In yes, their life. Yeah. yes. And it, it gives us a, something to think about as opposed to just having to take all these heavy duty drugs as my only option. Mm -hmm. No. What if we do some things that we would do f that to might address help the, the situation. degenerative? That's yeah. Sort of, yeah. And it may give good because a lot of times people, if they don't, they realize they might never be back at a hundred percent of what they used to be. 
But if they could get to 80 or 85, they could do everything they want with their grandkids. They could go play. They could keep doing their playing golf. They could do all the things. Their life would be fine. Mm -hmm. They might have, you know, we can all deal with a little bit of, you know, if our, we don't quite have as, our giddy up isn't quite, you know. A little twinge here and you know, there. We, yeah, we can all, we can deal with that. Yeah, yeah. But it's the stuff that debilitates us oh, and, yeah. and stops us from living the life and following our passions. That's what really makes us depressed and discourages us. So anyhow, so we'll talk about it. So if you or someone you know has arthritis or is kind of dealing with those consequences and, and understand I am going to talk about the non-medical solutions, right? There's no shortage of, when you talk to your doctors, there's all sorts of drugs that they'll be trying and there's all that sort of stuff. So we're not even going to go there at all. I don't do anything with medicines. I try to do everything without medicine. So I won't really even address that. Okay, so if you're interested in what new drugs are coming, that's where, that won't even be part of our conversation. Mm -hmm. But what I will try to do is I will try to thinking put, put, a, put a new lens in our glasses. Or let's, let's think of this from a new perspective. What sorts of things could be done and how do we, how do we change this and what are the ideas that you could do, maybe nutritionally, those, those yeah. sorts and of things. Yeah, and if somebody's already on medications for this condition, they can still have this treated by chiropractic Absolutely. care, right? Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, and, and, and it is interesting that I do find myself trying to figure out exactly where, where the where the line, um, you know, my, my grandpa was a medical doctor and I have a lot of appreciation and um, I see a lot of value in the medical field, okay? But I find myself helping people find answers because they wouldn't be in my office if those ideas had worked. Right. Okay? Yeah. So understand that I, there's a little bit of a conflict for me because uh, sometimes I feel like I'm being really negative on the medical profession, but I find myself having to find alternatives outside of that right right so it's it's not that I'm critical of it it's just that most of the time patients have already tried those things and they're not working and sometimes they don't work and, right and and to have another option yes. is just a wonderful thing yes and so that's that's where and so I don't and I, I don't even mind if you're going to a doctor and he's given or she has given you a medicine and you want to keep taking that medicine you could still come in and I would still work with your nerve system now, I, in my heart, I would try to say, if I can make enough progress, so you don't need to take that medicine, or maybe not as much, maybe not as strong. You know, I'll, I'm that gonna, would, I'm gonna try. And that <laughs> you would know? be a wonderful thing. Right. Yeah, that would be the, the goal. Yes. And I think most people, if given that chance, that's what, that's what they would choose as well. Of course. So anyhow, so that's, so that's gonna be uh, on the 17th. That'll be at six o'clock at our office. Okay, and let me give the address okay. again so yes. people can make note of that. It's 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue, just south of Powell. That's 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue. And that class is on the 17th. It's a Tuesday at 6 yes. p.m. Yes. And that would be a great source of information about some directions that people could yeah. go if they have arthritis. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And, uh, of course, they can come to your party, too, yes. on the 12th yes. of this month. Right. Now, what time is that? So the party will be all during our normal business hours, which will be 7.30 in the morning till 11. That? And then and, and then okay. and then two thirty to six. Two thirty to six. Yeah. That's a long party. I know. It'll be all, it'll be all day long. <laughs> That's a, right. What a wonderful day that'll be. It's a day <laughs> chiropractic. I hope I don't get too fat. Oh why? Wow. You got all kinds of food oh, there. I yeah, there. Well, there will be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a couple other things. If you enjoy music, especially gospel songs, we've got this Friday night. We have a gospel sing along, play along, at seven o'clock at Clackamas Bible Church. So if you want to come and join with us. And bring a snack to share because about halfway through we take a fellowship break and uh, and that happens which is exciting we also have uh, the old-time gospel sing-along out at Estacada is happening March 14th from 2 till 4 in the afternoon and then I think the final thing that I want to say before we take a break is we've got a free shredding day that uh, my wife at her office has, is sponsoring um, so if you have some records uh, anything that you would like to have shredded it's going to be April 25th so okay. this is the nice thing is you can think about this, you know, get get through the tax season, get, think about what records we need to keep, which ones we don't. And it will be from 9 in the morning till noon. And uh, Where is that, that be? will be at her office, which is Householder Group. Uh, so it's 14020 Southeast Johnson Road, Suite 206. So it's basically the intersection on a Highway 224 in Johnson Road. There's now a CarMax and Lowe's, those sorts of oh, things yeah, on yeah. one court. Okay, her office is on the opposite side of 224. Okay. And we'll have a big shredding truck there. And it's one of those things, um, part of kind of our mission, both hers and mine, uh, we want to serve the organizations that are furthering the work of Christ. So you may, you may, your church may have some records that you need to get disposed of, or you may be a Christian school or something. Feel free. We're not, pay it doesn't matter how much you bring. So okay. it's one of those things to think about. 
That's something to think about. Lots to think about, Dr. Day. Yes. We're going to talk some more about uh, what you have going on at Day Chiropractic. Dr. David Day is our guest today. 3758 Southeast 122nd Avenue is the address of Day Chiropractic. And 503-760-7572 is his number there. The website, daychiropractic.com. And if you'd like to call and talk to Dr. David mm -hmm. Day right now in the studio, you can do that. 503-786-9390. We'll be back in a moment to talk some more with Dr. Day on the Northwest Showcase on 93.9 KPDQ.